Sensitization. We will begin by defining what is sensitization. It is the local depletion of chromium adjacent to the grain boundaries to levels below those required for passivation. Now this will occur because of chromium carbide precipitation along the grain boundaries. Now stainless steels are expected to exhibit excellent corrosion resistance, but the depletion of chromium along the grain boundaries results in intergranular corrosion or intergranular attack. Intergranular corrosion is the localized attack at or adjacent to the grain boundaries with little or no attack to the grain interior. Sensitization has the potential to significantly reduce the service life of your stainless steel components. So in the next few slides, we'll be looking at the mechanisms through which sensitization occurs in stainless steel. At room temperature, the carbon solubility in austenitic stainless steels is approximately 0.006% and it is even lower in ferritic stainless steels. Now in general, all stainless steels have very low solubility of carbon at ambient temperature. Now if you have an oversaturated matrix after solution annealing, the excess carbon is precipitated in the form of chromium rich carbides predominantly along the grain boundaries these carbides which can contain up to 95 percent chromium have much higher chromium content than the matrix that's surrounding it this leads to the immediate surroundings of the precipitated carbides depleted of chromium as seen in the figure shown if the chromium content of these depleted zones adjacent to the grain boundaries fall below approximately 12%, the corrosion resistance of these areas is significantly reduced, resulting in intergranular attack progressing along the chromium depleted grain boundaries. Figure 4 shows the time temperature precipitation diagram of carbides in 304 stainless steel during heat treatment after it has been solution annealed and quenched. Now, carbide precipitation is a time temperature dependent process. At low temperatures in figure four, you have low solubility, which means high excess carbon is available due to the oversaturated matrix, but the diffusion rate of carbon is low. So at temperatures around 500, Carbides precipitation will occur, but after a very long time, as seen in Cave 1. Increasing the temperature will reduce the time it takes for precipitation to initiate and will increase the precipitation rate while also increasing the solubility of carbon in the matrix. At temperatures around 750 in Figure 4, the precipitation rate reaches a maximum because of the high diffusion rate of carbon. The shaded area where sensitization occurs is limited to below 800 because above this temperature, chromium depleted zones may be replenished by chromium diffusing from the grain interior. At very high temperatures above K4, solubility significantly increases and the precipitates may start to dissolve back into the matrix. The highest risk for sensitization is at temperatures where precipitation rate is high. Solution annealing can desensitize stainless steel, but it is often not possible to perform heat treatments in welds. Sensitization of stainless steels during welding is known as weld decay. The typical weld decay is shown in these two microstructures where sensitization has resulted in intergranular corrosion within the heat affected zone. Figure 7 shows schematically the thermal cycles that can produce weld decay in heat affected zone. In the fusion line, which experiences thermal cycle A, the alloy is in the critical temperature range for insufficient time to produce sensitization. In region C and D, the alloy does not reach the critical temperature range. At B, 
that alloy region is in the critical temperature range for sufficient time to produce sensitization and susceptibility to weld decay. Another common defect that is very similar to weld decay is knife line attack. It is observed only in stabilized stainless steels. This type of attack occurs when the stabilizing carbides like your niobium or titanium carbides dissolve at elevated temperatures in the region just adjacent to the fusion line. Upon cooling, chromium-rich carbides will form faster than the niobium or titanium carbides, resulting in a narrow sensitized region. Further away from the fusion boundary, niobium or titanium carbides do not dissolve and sensitization then therefore does not occur in these regions. It is possible to minimize or eliminate intergranular corrosion in stainless steel welds by the following methods. Select a base or a filler metal with as low carbon content as possible. Use alloys that are stabilized by the addition of niobium or titanium. Use low weld heat inputs or low interpass temperature to increase weld cooling rates, thereby minimizing the time in the sensitization temperature range. Solution heat treatment after welding to allow desensitization can also be applied.